Hey guys, this is Thorno and today we're going to be talking about 10 different tips for Marvel Future Revolution. Um, I'm enjoying this game a lot. It's been a lot of fun. Um, I really like this auto system that they've got in here. It allows me to kind of do the, the side missions and the epic quests like on my, uh, like while I'm doing other things and then kind of tuning in more when I'm doing like the boss battles and everything like that and the different like game mode blitz is really fun. Um, even like the operations one as well, uh, secret operations. Sorry, Special Operations is really fun as well. I'm enjoying it a lot. It's been a really, really fun game. Um, so for the first tip here is start playing now. If you want to get ahead and be competitive in this game, you really need to start playing it as soon as possible. I'm going to have a link in the description to like a short guide on how you can start playing now. It involves a VPN and either Bluestacks or an Android phone. It's really, really easy to set up. Um, I've set it up like it, it took a little bit to kind of um, download the game, mostly just because my internet was a bit slow via blue sacks but it overall has just been really good like i i've been enjoying it a lot now as for the next one make sure that you do the side quests the collectibles and more this squad level is actually really important when i was first started playing i kind of was just skipping through it uh wasn't kind of worrying too much about this squad level and just was ignoring the side quests and everything but it ended up being really important because it's the way that they kind of uh gate you away from getting into certain parts of the game so if one part of it when i got up to it it was like i needed rank eight and i was only rank seven so i had to go back and do some of the stuff that rewarded me with more squad level like the operations so blitz most wanted uh the special operations and then also just going back and doing the side quests and collectibles now on the kind of same note as that is make sure that you do check your activity log and your challenges and everything as you're kind of going in this activity log it's basically free rewards that you're going to be getting just from doing like the side quests and the missions and stuff like that and then it also rewards as i said the squad rank xp which is super super important uh, so the side missions just as you go you'll get them and then you're able to kind of just get this kind of slowly working up you've got like the mission uh the villain log as well for when you kill a certain amount of characters the most wanted so making sure that you murder these guys out there in the field and your side missions and collectibles so there's a lot of different stuff in that activity log that's very important so make sure that you are doing it as you're going and make sure you are checking it as you go now the next one is the blitz and special operations have great rewards so these in here uh, even like the most wanted again is just some amazing rewards in here that you can get uh, just from completing this one here is for going in and murdering the um the few different boss guys out in the world and then the blitz is kind of like a short game mode where you like fight through a couple waves and then take out a boss special operations you fight through more waves save some civilians from uh the one that i did which was the Red Skull Hydra Escape one save a whole lot of civilians and then fight a big boss guy at the end of it but these reward some amazing stuff like if I have a look at my uh, badges at the moment uh, where are they uh, here I'll just have a look at them in here so my badges at the moment this one here I got from the Blitz as well which is a massive six star legendary one which is really really good um, I'm really happy with that. And then I got this one here as well. So both of these were massive, massive upgrades for me. So I've chucked them on there and I'm using them um, because they're just so great. This one here, I think, uh, no, that was from a purchase that I made. But these two here from that, like the Blitz just rewards some great stuff. Even the special operations reward some pretty good stuff. Like you're going to get some um, consumables in here. You're going to get some uh, cores as well, which are really good later on. And then some sp uh, Hydra special ops costumes which are all are going to be great upgrades for your characters now the next one here is feeding gear upwards to upgrade your gear now for those who don't know like how these kind of games work you're basically going to get a lot of gear they're going to chuck gear at you constantly but the way to kind of upgrade it is to slowly kind of work through up the level so here i've got a level one piece and now if i take this and i chuck in some level one pieces into it i'm then going to make it into a level two piece which is good because then I can take my level two pieces here and feed them into that to then be able to make it into a level three piece. Now that level three piece is important because it allows me to upgrade my other level three pieces, or it could just be an overall upgrade to me. Um, and as the, uh, as the gear kind of goes up, you're going to be getting more rewards from it, more stats and everything, which is obviously very important to have, you know, better stats. 
Now the next one is make sure you join an alliance and complete your alliance quest. Now we've started one over here, the uh, Horsemen of the Apocalypse, as uh, uh, members like of the house cluster are over here in it um, currently, but you're going to have a whole lot of different rewards in here. These are going to get you alliance XP, going to get you alliance loyalty and some gold as well. And then the alliance loyalty is going to be spent here and you can get like uh you can get some costume upgrades as you kind of level up you're going to get more stuff you can get some core box oh wait this is the gold one uh whoops alliance loyalty here so here you can get like loyalty boxes as you kind of level this up and as you can see the rewards here details you're going to get some cores from that uh, which is obviously super great some uh omega cards and everything which are all going to be super helpful upgrades now, next is make sure you check your loot. Your badges, your gear, and your Omega cards are all very important. So, here I've got my cards. Whoops, that's card storage. Uh, heroes, here. Omega cards. Make sure that you check these uh, like often to make sure that you've got the best ones on. You can use the auto equip if you want to make sure that you have the best ones on. But if not, you can go in here and double check them to make sure that you do have like ones that are useful and everything and make sure that you have like your best options there. It's the same with gear. Go in, double check that you've got the gear on here that's going to be the biggest upgrade. I was super lucky and got this X-Men outfit here. Um, and you've also got like your badges that you want to make sure. This customization, I want to show this just for a sec. This customization is insane. There is so much customization for your characters just in regards to looks. Like you can you can make your own character, which is just amazing. I really, really love it. And there's so many cool costumes as well. Like everything from uh, like the new Stark one here, as you can see, you've got like the this one here. Uh, where's the one that I like the most? Stormpunk one. This is just amazing. I really, really like this. All right, next up is skills. Now, in your skills, you're going to have different options. You actually unlock seven different skills here and make sure that you do kind of try out different ones to see if you can get a great combination. I've been using this one here, the press, uh, pressure manipulation to kind of boost people up in the air um, in like a, in my tornado. And then I use the, which one is it? The weather, which one? The zap, lightning, chain lightning. So I just push them up in the air, chain lightning them. And all of a sudden they're just massively, massively screwed. <laughs> their health is going down. You've also got different kind of options here that you can use uh, to make sure that you're getting kind of what you want out of it. So there's like different kind of talent systems, I guess. Um, this one here turns this skill into a, a single target massive nuke. And then you've got like a chain a lightning cloud there. Lots of cool stuff that you can kind of do here. So make sure you do check those out. Make sure you have like try out different things and everything. I'm going to be obviously I'm playing Storm. So I'm going to be kind of trying out different things for Storm and everything. Um, because Storm is just obviously X-Men favorite characters. Um, I'm, I'm really enjoying. And the fact she's like a mage as well. She plays a lot like a mage, like a crowd control Frost Mage, which I've, I play a lot in World of Warcraft. Now, next up is check your events and work through this Fury one. Now, as you kind of work through, you're going to have this Nick Fury one, but each of these is not necessarily things that you always do. So make sure you check them and see if they're things that like you need to do next. So uh, you start out just defeating some villains, then use med packs, enhance skills, defeat elites, that kind of thing. If you can get through this pretty quickly, then you're going to get some decent upgrades, some uh, a decent battle badge from the end there. You've also got like here, with some stark city upgrades, that kind of stuff. Um, so that way you can kind of just kind of blitz through the game um, and and get that good, decent gear so that way you're able to kind of com complete the better bosses and stuff. Now this one here as well is just leveling up your squad rank. As I said before, you're gonna get some gems and stuff, lots of cool stuff from that. You've got Baby Groot here, who's gonna give you some costumes. Um, this one here, the Rocket one's just for logging in. And there's the Ravages one as well for just defeating bosses. Oh, sorry, defeating villains. So this one's elite villains, uh, do blitzes, do Omega War, clear 15, level 15 in the challenge. And then you're going to get like an Omega card, four star Omega card, which I don't have yet. So I'm pretty excited to kind of get through that one. Now, the very last tip here is try different characters. It's actually really easy to try different characters as well. You can just go in here, click your select hero, and then you're going to be able to switch back into other characters here and kind of work through them. 
Obviously, I'm sticking with Storm at the moment, but I have Cap here ready. Um, like, I'm pretty sure that he does taunt and stuff like that, more or like a melee fighter, which I'm pretty cool. Like, I really like kind of tanking and stuff, so I'm probably going to build him more as like a tank. You've got Spidey here as well, and the costumes for each character are just insanely great. Uh, but that's it for today guys I'd love to hear from you guys if you're going to check this game out and if you've been enjoying it I just wanted to give you some quick tips because there are things that you might miss or that I've missed that I kind of wanted to make sure that you guys know about especially that one about the activity log the activity log is just so important and something that I just completely missed when I was first playing uh, so make sure that you do make sure you like check that out and make sure you're um uh making sure you're collecting that stuff there um but that's it for today guys have a great day and goodbye